what you're going to be watching Sue cook over the next five minutes uh, probably will look to you like just a humble burger. According to the International Livestock Research Institute, in 2001, 45% of Earth's entire land surface, was, uh, which corresponds to um, the land area of North America, South America, Australia, and Europe combined, was actively in use raising animals to satisfy the world's skyrocketing appetite for meat. And that appetite for meat is the main reason behind an ongoing wildlife holocaust. So the average populations of wild animal species around the world, mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, amphibians, today is less than half what it was just 50 years ago. And the biggest drivers of that shocking decline are hunting, fishing, but especially habitat destruction and degradation, mostly driven by livestock production. It's an unnecessary catastrophe because the plant crops grown this year contain more than enough of every essential nutrient to meet all the nutritional needs of the world's population in 2050, 9 billion people. But people around the world love to eat meat. And who can blame them? It's delicious. And we're not going to ask them to stop. So we've got a problem. But the problem isn't that people love meat. The problem is how we produce it. In today's food system, animals are just an ancient, extremely inefficient, unsustainable technology that we use to transform plants into meat. If we could just invent a more sustainable way to turn plants into delicious, affordable meats, that uncompromising meat consumers actually prefer to what they get today from animals. So five years ago, I gave up my dream job as a tenured professor at Stanford and started putting together a team of brilliant, innovative, mission-driven scientists to take on the challenge of making the best meat in the world directly from plants. Challenge number one, why does meat taste like meat? So this beautiful molecule is called heme. It's what gives our blood its red color and ability to carry oxygen. And it's also what makes meat red or pink. But it's not just color. We discovered that heme is the magic ingredient responsible not just for the bloody taste of meat in its raw form, but for the explosion of flavors and aromas when meat is cooked. And here's how it works. Every cell contains kind of a broth of essential nutrients, amino acids, sugars, fats, vitamins. And if you were to take that broth by itself and cook it, you'd get sort of a mild, savory flavor and aroma like weak miso soup. But add heme, bang, you get an explosion of chemical reactions that transform those simple nutrients into hundreds of flavorful and fragrant compounds that add up to the unmistakable and irresistible flavor and aroma of meat. The reason only meat tastes like meat is that the animal tissues that we call meat have an extraordinarily high level of heme. But actually, almost every living cell on Earth contains heme, although generally at a much lower concentration. Plants, bacteria, and fungi, and so forth. To make our burger, we isolate heme from yeast. Here it is. It looks like blood, it tastes like blood, and it's what gives our burger its red color and beefy taste. Now, it takes more than flavor to make great meat. You need to deliver the texture, the juiciness, the nutritional value, the visual appeal, and even the sizzle when it cooks. Each of those was a challenge for our team, and one by one, they've solved them. I know it sounds insane, 
to replace a deeply entrenched trillion dollar a year global industry that's been a part of human culture since the dawn of human civilization. But it has to be done. And here's the thing. Cows aren't getting any better at turning plants into meat. And they never will. We're getting better at it every day. And we're going to keep getting better. The cows had a million year head start on us. We've been doing this for less than five years. <laughs> and we're already running even. And once we pass the cow, and the pig, and the chicken, and the fish, maybe the cricket too, <laughs> we're just going to keep going. We're not going to stop. Thank you. Here's our Your brave volunteer. Your volunteer has returned. <laughs> So I never thought I would be eating in front of quite so many people, and, um, and when they're all hungry too, it's kind of just not fair. But um, and it looks so pretty. Um, and you have all kinds of little extras there. Wow, this is awesome. Okay. Do you have a, do you have a shot on that? You can't see the, he can't, she can't. There it is, you see that? Bon appetit. Bon appetit, here I go. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> really good. Really good. You want to keep it? Good. Yeah.